students welcome to cs knowledge of panad this is baskaran in the previous session video you have learned about multimedia and desktop publishing i hope you all understood about the concept in this session we will discuss about an introduction to adobe page maker before we enter into the lesson we just go through the what are the objectives are involved in adobe page maker what is desktop publishing how to create document using page maker how to create text blocks how to change a text block size how to insert the text from other software like ms word in the page maker document how to use the frame to hold text in place of using text blocks so these are the objectives next we move on to desktop publishing first you know about the desktop publishing already we have learned in multimedia what is desktop publishing exactly a desktop publishing means it is a creations of page layout for document using dtp software so whatever the document printed document we have to use with the help of computerized to making some software with the help of this dtp we can use for the information so this desktop publishing are used in nowadays in many places for example newspaper articles whatever the newspaper articles you have to uh, read in the morning section these newspaper articles are created by some dtp works for example many softwares are using in the dtp works for example adobe page maker adobe indesign quark express etc so the full form of dtp is desktop publishing today there are several desktop publishing softwares are available in the market you know what are they adobe page maker adobe indesign in this chapter we can go through fully uh, adobe page maker software a uh, next one introduction to adobe page maker we can going to see what is adobe page maker what is the uses of adobe page maker everything we will discuss one by one a adobe page maker is a page layout software it is used to design and produce the document that can be printed i already said the main thing and main example for dtp work newspaper edition you can create anything from a simple business card to a large book so we can create a simple visiting card to and create a large book with the help of this page maker we can use a page layout software includes the tool that allow you can easily position the text and the graphics document with the help of this page maker not only for the text purpose we can add pictures and some other animations whatever we can include with the help of this page maker for example using page maker you could create a news letter that includes articles and pictures on each page so you can place the picture and text next to each other on the top of each other or beside each other wherever places you have to insert the pictures with the help of the particular text so this is about just introduction about page maker the next one how to open the page maker software with the help of here we are using windows 7 operating system to open the page maker software go to start button click all program click adobe the next page maker 7.0 version the next you click adobe page maker 7.0 version when you click this procedures the page maker window will be appears here are given a page maker 
windows so this is a page windows of page maker so the next part how to create a new document so it moves on to choose a file menu okay it's it's appears on menu bar go to the file menu click new menu bar or otherwise give a shortcut key for open a new document press control n in the keyboard enter the appropriate settings for your new document in the document setup dialog box the next finally you have to give ok button the next the windows will appear on the screen now a new document is called untitled one whenever you have to open the page maker software defaultly it appear a name is untitled one a document page is displayed within a dark border a document page which is in a dark border the area outside of the dark border is referred to as a paste board so outer of the section if you see in the pictures this is outer of the section you have to see the dark border is referred to the paste board so this is a windows about page maker so one by one we going to see about what are the positions of the page maker for example in this picture we have given a title bar menu bar ruler toolbox toolbar black border page maker page margins horizontal scroll bar vertical scroll bar pages so everything we going to discuss one by one first we moves on to title bar what is title bar it is the top most of the window it shows the name of the software that name the document at left and control buttons minimize maximize and close button at the right you know about the title bar whatever the documents when you open the software the first part is title bar a title is a represent the title name for example here when you open the page maker uh, title is a represent adobe page maker 7.0 untitled one every document should be represent untitled one the next the title bar contains minimize button maximize button and close button we know the clicking of minimize button the document windows in minimize a small icon and kept into the task bar a maximize button is used to maximize the current document window to fit whole screen area and close button close software itself so these are the things are working in title bar the next one menu bar a menu bar contains following some menus what are the menus file edit layout type element utilities view windows help so these are the menus are represent in menu bar when you click on the menu item a pull down the menu bar there may be sub menus under the certain option in the pull down menus so when you click if you want to want to create a new document moves on to the file menu so when you click the file menu it moves on to the sub menu so likewise you have to choose uh, one by one menus so this is a part of menu bar the next one tool bar what are the tools are represents in tool bar if you place the mouse pointer on the button the tool bar short text will appears as a description called tool tip when you take a mouse pointer to move on to the tool bar it name is called a tool tip okay so some tools are represents in the tool bar it is used to create uh, some documents works the next one tool box the tool box to move the drag and tool box is called title bar uh, select a tool from default tool box by clicking it if the tool box is not available on the screen you can perform these steps to show the tool box if you want to show the tool box click on window the window menu will appear if you want to hide the tool box click on window the window will appear click on hide tools to the, the hide the tool box so these are the things are used in the tool box here tool box we can use uh, many tools 
to work with Adobe Page Maker, what are the tools are? Pointer tool, rotating tool, line tool, rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool, hand tool, text tool, cropping tool, constraint line tool, rectangle frame tool, ellipse frame tool, polygon frame tool and finally zoom tool. So these tools are we can use in the toolbox. And next one the same here given some shortcut keys to work with these tools. For example, we move on to the pointer tool, the shortcut key is F9. Likewise here given a rotating tool, shift plus F2, line tool, shift plus F3, rectangle tool, shift plus F4, ellipse tool, shift plus F5, polygon tool, shift plus F6, hand tool, shift plus alt plus drag the left mouse button. Text tool, shift plus alt plus F1. Cropping tool, shift plus alt plus F2. Rectangle tool, shift plus alt plus F4. Constraint line tool, shift plus alt plus F3. So these tools are used with the help of the keyboard. The same wise, here given briefly, what are the tools are used and what are the purpose of these tools. We know about the tools, pointer tool, text tool, rotating tool, cropping tool, likewise etc. We know about what are the tools. What is the purpose of pointer tool? A pointer tool used to move and resize the text object and graphics. Text tool. Text tool here display the I beam. This is a I beam. Used to type a select and edit the text. Rotating tool. Used to select to rotate the objects. Cropping tool. Used to trim and import the graphic graphics we can crop the images size line tool used to draw the straight line in any direction constant line tool used to the vertical and horizontal line used to make vertical and horizontal line rectangle tool you know used to draw the squares and rectangles rectangle frame tool it is a rounded place over placeholder for text and graphics used to draw the circles and ellipse for ellipse tool Used to create elliptical placeholder for text and graphics. Used to draw the polygon for polygon tool. Used to create the polygon placeholder for text and graphics. Hand tool. Used to scroll the page or alternative to scroll the bar. Finally, zoom tool. You have to magnify or reduce the area of the pages. The next one scroll bar. We know about the scroll bar. You have to see in the mouse button. So with the help of the scroll bar we can move up and down and move vertical and horizontal place. So this is an important thing of scroll bar. Ruler. What is the concept of ruler? So the ruler is the top of other in left side to show the ruler and hide the ruler. So what is the steps to show the ruler? A given click on the view, the view menu will appear. So the uh, show the ruler the appear on the top uh, left side the document will appear what is the what is the main purpose of this ruler means to uh, place the pictures of the documents or text document use the scale positions of the document the next one so these are the things and types of tools are used in the adobe page maker i hope you all understand about the concept we can see the next topic in next session. Thank you students.